Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. Today we have a couple mails from the post office. We earned 1,887 bells of interest. Wow. From Sky, lately I've been into giving people surprise presents. Surprise, I watched you at the store the other day. I think you might really like this. Okay. I mean, I've only been going into the garden center, so... Clacker Kurt. I have no idea what that even is. Um, Gabby gave us this earlier when I was in checking the morning turnip price, which also, regardless of what the price is, we need to sell them. So we may as well just do that. It was 45 bells earlier, so yeah, our best price was Monday. Monday morning. I'm just gonna put everything away. Which, I kinda hate when that happens. Because, like... I don't even know what causes... Well, like... Like, I wanna say it's because we had a random week, but it doesn't feel like this was a random week. This just feels, feels like a small spike. But... One or none of the prices were actually better than my turnip price. Like, I paid a hundred. Nothing was ever higher than a hundred. I'm sad about that. So what is the turnip price right now? How much are we losing? 60 bells a turnip. Ugh. And I missed... You know what? It doesn't matter. I have the space. I can miss that one. And then go grab the other thousand. Uh, I just go a bit also, so if my voice sounds a bit funky, that's, that's what's going on. I, I did not sleep terribly well. I also, like, as you may have guessed, got up at one point to uh, check turnips. I almost missed checking the morning turnips, but... Because I ended up waking up at, like, 11.30. So, like, I had, like, half an hour. I managed to force myself out of bed long enough to check the turnip prices. I am glad I didn't buy more turnips. Like... There. Sorry, I'm fighting with some dry skin on my face. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing terribly well this morning. Um, I say this morning is almost 4 p.m. And I will be back later tonight for the, uh, the KK concert. I just basically had the feeling that I should get in early in case I end up getting in late to deal with the KK concert. Um. Was that? No, that was my ass playing tricks on me. Okay. I'm 
trying trying to think of something to to ramble about now. Um. Uh, past 5 p.m. All items will be half price. Okay. I will say, and like I know I've been rambling about this a lot. As as expected, there are people literally complaining about things in the World of Warships D-Day operation. Where what they're complaining about and calling bugs have just been mechanics forever. Like one of the things that people are complaining about is, oh, a, a, it's it's a gunnery bug and wargaming should fix this. And shooting at um, the the land-based installations, and like it's a thing of like if you're if you're in your aiming site, you you can't accurately aim at them because you know it's it's you you just your guns can't go far enough. It's like yep, yeah, well they the, these these land targets aren't at sea level. The aiming thing is for aiming at sea level. That's what it is that that's that wargaming has explained this before that is it working as intended that that is the intended result because you're you're aiming at something above sea level in some cases quite significantly above sea level you know But that's a bit too hard for people to understand, I guess. Um, there's also a lot of people complaining about um, how difficult that mission is to 5-star. And it's like, yeah, but it should be. And the basic argument seems to be, but it requires teamwork. Yeah, it's a team-based thing. It should require teamwork. That's, that's how, that's how team-based stuff works. Hey, Jim Rock. I don't remember how much gold we have. What I do know is this is way more inventory spots than I have, I think. Or no. No. And I think we have at least one gold at home, so... We can definitely do another piece of gold furniture. I do need to go straight to retail, but... <laughs> I would try and find the other two fossils while I'm at it, but... Okay, here's the gem rock, so let's save and continue. Because I don't- I don't trust this- this game no more. My- my lemon likes to explode on me. There we go. And it is the first of a new month, so there will be new bugs and sea life kicking around. And some that left. Ah. Yawning. Brought in a lot of gems. Deal. Like, it, it's always funny to me watching people complain that you can't just solo stuff in warships. I mean, like, the only time that I could really agree... That, at the very least, well, I'll, I'll get on to this once I've talked to Kurlos, at least. Just getting around the Sapphire, Peppa Pig. So, something up. Let's talk. Feels kind of lonely since starting the events to celebrate, don't you think? Times like this, you should plan your own fun event, cowboy. For example, an interview with Kurlos, or Kurlos invites himself to your house. Oh, but, uh, please don't plan anything like wake up, plank, wake up prank on Kurlos. I hate that event. As, as duly noted. 
Like, the only time I can kind of get behind, you know, ships being able to do everything in warships is in the context of random battles. Because, well... There are ship classes that can basically do everything. So when one can't do, you know, everything and has basically something that it absolutely cannot deal with, period, that does suck. Like, an easy example. Hey, Mott. Yo, Cleats. Finally found you, Queen. I'm so tired today. The 10,000 squats I've been doing since this morning have really caught up with me. Hey, act like you're in charge and give me some supplies, will ya? Any kind will do. Yeah, I can get you a fruit, Mott. I swear, I've probably given him more fruit than anyone else in town, but, you know. Let's see. Yeah, there's a ground cherry over here that's been here forever, so. Please just take this. It's probably full of bugs and it's probably rotting a little, but there you go. Can we need longer? Time to chow down. Holy cherry, that did not disappoint. A chef's outfit. Uh, okay, I'm not becoming your personal chef. It's not gonna happen. But, um... Like, an example I can give is, like... Destroyers can do basically nothing to submarines. Just period. There, there's just really nothing that a destroyer can do to a submarine. The submarine outspots them. I think I might need to actually like run to get the dragonfly. Oh no. Like, the submarine outspots them, and can just outright obliterate them at close range. Which is where the destroyer has to get close into to do anything to the submarine. Meanwhile, that submarine is, well, outspotting the destroyer. And is basically, in a lot of ways, doing the destroyer's job better than the destroyer does. Which can be a bit disheartening as someone playing a destroyer to see that, you know, there's this other class of ship doing your job better than you. I have not seen this final fossil. You know, let's stop and see Jeremiah. Hey, little buddy. Welcome to Casa de Jeremiah. So what can I do for you? Let's talk. Ta-da! Check out my outfit. It was designed by someone from any town. I mean, it's probably the only good design. Of all of the, uh, the, the, the random any town designs. Hmm. But, like, in terms of, like, operations... It should really be, you should require teamwork. It's so me today. What's up? I want to chat. Can I ask a favor? I brought a present for... Uh, okay. I have like one space. Technically I have two because I can just eat my bamboo shoot, but... It's not asking a lot. 
I do need to eat this bamboo shoot now, though. Just in case I find this remaining fossil. Which could be literally anywhere. Hiding behind something. It's probably hidden behind a flower, though. Velma! Hello, hun. Nice to get a few things done, isn't it? So what do you want? Let's talk! I have a little interior design problem. I hope you can help me figure it out. My house is a teeny bit of floor space. I'd like to fill up with something short or tall. Don't care. Just can't take up much floor space. Maybe a small chair, a little plant, or trash bin. Hmm. I could try. I can also yawn. Bong bong. Hey, Jeremy, I got you something. I have a delivery for you. Because, you know, no one trusts Pete. <laughs> What's inside? Nice, an iron frame. It's just the kind of thing I like. Didn't think Bella knew me so well. Thanks for going to the trouble of delivering that. Here's a gift to express... Okay. I can replace this radio with the flowers, I'm pretty sure. If you ever have a ra if you ever had a radio, I keep yawning. I feel so bad about that. Um, Bella. Hey Fuchsia, have you seen Bella? Hello, if this isn't Pookie. So, is there something you need? Let's chat. Hey, you want to come over to? I just... I mean, sure, but like, I was trying to find Bella. I just want to find Bella. Um... We're gonna take a quick look over here. She's just not here anymore. She probably went inside at the hour. Or is now on like, Main Street or something. Lobo is home. Bella is not home. I kind of hate when animals do that. <laughs> Where they're just... I'm pretty sure she's now like on Main Street or something. I mean, I never take my shoes off, so... Cleaned for days, and now my furniture and floor is so shiny. Just by putting a plant, a... That, you could make a room easier on the eyes. You gotta take care of your peepers, you wanna have a good glare. Pick up dust from a carpet using tape. Stick the tape down, peel it off, stick it down, peel it off. Keep on going until you zone out. You gotta clear your head when you're riled up. So, uh, up until recently, I thought indirect playing was some kind of secret. Yeah. Um. I get the feeling a lot of Warships players are just used to how the other operations work. Where, like, you can pretty easily just solo them. Without much effort. So, like, they're expecting everything to be like that. When, you know, this one's actually difficult. I don't want to say I'm good because that's going to upset her. So I'll say actually. And then I'll just leave. Yeah, I'm going home. I like it. Gonna give me a big head saying stuff like that. But hey, it does make me happy to hear it. Yeah, she's kept her house pretty true to her, so she still likes her house. 
A lot of our other villagers are just like, man, I hate where I live. It's like, why did you do what you've done to your house? You made these decisions. Okay, that's Velma again. She may be down on the beach. Yes. Darn it, Bella. I heard others calling you by some new nickname. They're calling you Hun. Sure, everyone wants to call me Hun. Okay. The, the lady from Cafe Hun would be very upset. I delivered it. Just making the delivery to Jeremiah. So how'd it go? Here's the story. My neighbor liked it. Figured it out. Yeah, you did. Also, hey, Gulliver. I want to give you five more minutes. Come on, Gulliver. Come on, Gulliver. Get up. I'm not asking, Gulliver. Come on, Gulliver. Well, looks like we'll have to put you in the grave, little guy, because you're not getting up. Come on. Come on. Let me uh, make your grave a little bigger. Come on. Ah, okay. When it got the right size, that's when you got up. Who are you? You don't look like no princess. I'm Gulliver, a little sailor of sorts. Could be that you were the one that saved me. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Can't believe I surrendered to my rescuer. Yeah, I know, Gulliver. We've been through this song and dance many times. I will help you out. Alright. What do you remember? The country I was heading to is huge waterfall... Canada. <laughs> it's Canada. <laughs> so in the sky you can see the aurora borealis. It's beautiful and leaves an impact on you. Try heading there to see the beautiful wilderness. Maple leaves and all. Canada. Oh, have I heard of that country, Gulliver? It's totally Australia or Finland or Russia. No, it's Canada. Oh, Canada. Yes, that is the place. <laughs> Let's give me a fancy souvenir. I honestly wonder what it'll end up being. Watch it just be like a model of Niagara Falls or something. Something just stupidly boring or just like a maple tree or something. Though that would be kind of cool if he sent you a tree that you could plant in your town that was a different kind of tree. But I know that's not going to be the case. Um, I'm going to come get our coffee rather than get that later. Hey, Brewster. I will have some coffee. I'll have my usual. Thanks, Brewster. Okay. 
Now to get up to the museum, get these fossils identified, donate this dragonfly, and then uh, I'll probably meet you guys back here later today for the KK concert. Not sure exactly when I'll get to the KK concert, but it'll be at some point later today. Wait, was this our cat machine? Yes, it is. I have so many bells and cat coupons. There's also just things you can get with the cat coupons. I just haven't gone to the area where you can deal with that stuff yet. Wait, did I just see the... No, it's my... Wait, wait. I didn't see this, but... Coming back down, I found it. So, that works out. Now I have all the fossils. My nose is all itchy. But yeah, I, I do honestly feel like the biggest problem is people are just so used to being able to effectively solo operations and for five-starring them to be a joke. That like, now that we've actually been given an operation that requires teamwork and is hard to, to five-star, now it's suddenly a big problem. Like... Okay, guys. This was never a problem before. Yeah, well, I say it was never a problem before. Like, it, it was something people were asking for before. Like, of operations to be harder, and then, like, once we're given an actual harder operation, they're like, no, we don't want this anymore. It's like, guys, make up your mind. Like, and, like, the, 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 general consensus being of like, oh, well, there isn't one ship that can do everything. It's like, well, yeah, that's a good thing. I'd, I'd rather there actually have to be some thought put into what ship you take in and, like, you know, compromising on something you don't value as important. Like, um... Myself personally, like, um, like there, there are minefields to clear out. I can clear them out fine enough for myself in a battleship. I don't need to clear out the whole minefield. I can, and I have. But I can clear them up more than well enough for me to get through the minefield. Which is really all I need is me to get through the minefield. The minefield's time out after, like, 60 seconds anyway. Like, as long as you're not dying to it, it's fine. Just ignore it. It will go away. So, like... There, there's no need to be super picky about, you know... blowing up the mines because, well, they, they time out. The only time it really matters to clear out the minefields are when the transports are coming in, and that's only if there's even a, still a minefield in the way. Like, the, the, there isn't always. So I'm perfectly content running my West Virginia 44 because it can do everything else in that operation. Very well. Got a violin beetle, but how do I tune it? I don't know if this is another new dragonfly or not. Back here.
It's so difficult to catch dragonflies. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is one we already have. Yeah, this is the Darner. I know- I'm pretty sure there's multiple dragonflies, so... Okay, I will donate this violin beetle later. For now, I'll just meet you guys back here later today. And I'm back! <laughs> My voice is still dying. Darn it, it's way over there. Oh wait, no, it's over here. Bug! A firefly! I'm trying to think if there's any of our animals we haven't really talked to for a while or today. I think Lobo is just up here and we haven't talked with him for a while. Yeah, there he is. Hey, he wants to speak too. Espot, um, I mean Mayor Steven. Clear mind. Now picture a yield sign in our town. Can you see it? Whoa, right? That'd be sweet. We gotta do this. We just gotta. Talk to Isabel, consider bringing it up with her that we can make her the dream a reality, princess. Can definitely try, my man. I was half expecting him to be like, hey, that bug you just caught? Can I have it? Like, I know it was, you know, you just caught it and the museum doesn't have it yet, but like, I want it. Could I have it? Because that wouldn't be the first time that happened. Though, the last time that happened, it was Carlos, so. Hello, Rory. Well, Steven. Ended up here after going jogging. It's not a case of coming over trying to see the crime. I didn't do anything. Hey, Rasher. Hey, Steven, how you been? Just here to do some shopping. All the shops are closed, my man. There's nowhere else to shop. Uh, yeah, I don't really know much what to talk about. I know I keep saying that, but like... That's kind of true, though. I really don't. A couple bugs for your blathers. And he will gladly take them off my hands. See, he likes bugs. He just doesn't like one bug. Give Blathers millions, and he'll love it forever. He won't, but I can pretend. I, I can pretend he'd love it and give him millions of bugs. Just release, like, a million locusts into the museum. He'd love that, I'm sure. Get Club LOL. Club LOL. I know there's Mott. I don't feel like talking with Mott. It's really freaking the vibe tonight, so I'm gonna get back to a groovy track. Hit me with it! Take a request, you got an extra old favorite? Nah, I'll just... Nah, I'll let you pick, KK. He's got the tune. He's ready like Freddy, so I shall sit and be steady. Enough tune in this groove. KK Jungra.
Yeah, that was pretty nice. I like that. Check your pockets. Slip your booze song. And now I'm gonna check if I actually said that name right. Jongara? I think it'd be Jongara. Jongara. It could be either. While I was listening to that, I was casually scrolling down my Facebook and discovered something kind of cool. Um, that I could actually talk about a little bit. And it's, it's something I've rambled about in the past, but like not so much recently, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Apparently, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution is now available on the Nintendo eShop in Argentina, Chile, Colombia, and Peru. Anyone in those regions, give it a look if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a really solid Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And it lets you play the game without dealing with a lot of, like, the more modern extreme power creep. Um, there's still some power creep going on, but, like, you also basically get to play through the story of the shows, which is pretty cool. It's no Tag Force. Like, don't get me wrong, it, the Tag Force games are just kind of better. But, you know. Same with, like, even, like, the old World Championship games. They were just kind of better because they're, they were actual, like, RPGs. Like, there was actual game to them other than just play Yu-Gi-Oh! over and over again. Which can be really fun, but, like, at the same time, eh. It's only so far that idea can take you. Um, I want to just sleep in the hammock. Um, because I recorded so long earlier today, we'll listen to the song in our radio tomorrow. So, with that, thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. See you all then!